Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. We are on day 24 of my walking challenge. It is the morning after Olive Garden and I wanted to talk about how everything went. Overall, I had a really great night. I went into the dinner with a positive mindset. Usually when I go out to eat, it's very difficult for me and I feel a lot of shame, but I pushed that shame away and I told myself it is okay, it's okay to be eating out and I think that is what really helped me. And to be honest, when I have gone to Olive Garden before with my family, I never could really enjoy it because I have always brought shame to myself about eating and enjoying food because I am bigger. I feel like I shouldn't enjoy the food that I eat. So I would always only eat a little bit of my food and then save it for later when I got home. And then that's when all those feelings would come up and what would I do? I would eat it all in one setting when I got home. As I'm in that mindset of eating a little bit of my food and then taking the rest home and eating it all, I have noticed that I really don't like sharing my food. Like, I know it's polite if someone asks, hey, can I try that? You're like, yeah, but inside my mind, I've always been like, seriously, like you're really <laughs> asking to try my food because I have never liked sharing because I, I want to take it all and then just eat it all for myself but i noticed some really great progress last night one of my family members said oh i should have ordered what you had because we have a similar diet we're both vegetarians and they're like something along the lines of you know do you think i could have some of your eggplant and in the past i would have been like seriously <laughs> but i was so willing i'm like yeah of course you can have some you know have as much as you want and i felt like that was true progress because i didn't have any like bad negative feelings of wanting to like have all the food to myself i'm just like you know take whatever you want and it it felt really good to have that feeling of being willing to share my food when I haven't always been willing to share my food. So I wanted to show you that I do have leftovers. If food like this triggers you, just skip ahead a little bit. I totally understand that. Sometimes seeing stuff like this online does trigger me too. But I have a pretty good amount left. And last night, I, I didn't have that feeling of needing to get back into the fridge and having to eat it all. Like, I didn't feel like that at all. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> when I got home, I was pretty sick because the stuff that is in this food, especially, I guess it's just like super greasy. It, it made my tummy sick and I was feeling it. But other than that, I feel like I had a really great night. My wife and I actually went on a walk and I hit 10,000 steps. In the past, and I say in the past a lot because, you know, I can relate to how it used to be. I would have felt really bad after eating out. And I had no guilt about going out and eating out. I got to spend time with my family and I brought no shame to myself. And I just felt really good. And it really was like the cherry on top going out and exercising after. It just really put my mind in a very positive place. So... I am glad that I was able to have my first positive eating out experience. I also want to add that like seeing this food right now would definitely make me feel like, oh, I need to have this right now. And just this overwhelming feeling would come up. I don't feel that. I don't feel like, you know, I need to eat this. I don't, those overwhelming feelings aren't coming up. So it just feels so nice that it just feels so good and it's, it's kind of like a relief that food is not in control anymore like i can be in control of my mind and my body my thoughts like this food like it doesn't have control of me anymore for so long food has controlled my life and it's nice to finally be in a place where 
It doesn't. My wife and I just got back from the store and we went to Trader Joe's. So I thought I could do a little grocery haul, well, kind of a big grocery haul of everything that we got today. Starting off, we got some raspberries, blueberries, strawberries for our yogurt. We found these new salad kits that I've never seen these flavors or these types before and they look so delicious so we got that one and this one. Oh, and we also got another one. We got three of them. They look so delicious and we got these new golden berry fruits to try. I am so excited for this. I am on this little kick of trying new fruits or veggies, so super excited about that. I got some roasted garlic hummus and these colored carrots. I love when vegetables are different colors. They also had cauliflower, but the cauliflower looked a little bad, so I didn't end up getting it. I got these cookies that I am so excited to try. I'm going over to my mom's for breakfast tomorrow, so I thought I could take these over and we could all try a cookie. We're now on day 26 and I am outside on my walk about 30 minutes in. I just got home from my walk and I am beat. I stayed out there a lot longer than I anticipated, which I'm happy about, but I'm just feeling like very sluggish and tired today. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so it's rough, but I'm glad that I was able to get a lot of steps in. I walked for 56 minutes and got around 5,500 steps, so I walked a ton, and my step count right now is at 7,500, which is a lot because it is only two o'clock. There's this older man that's always out doing something in his yard, you know, working. And I always see him when I'm going, walking down to the park and he says hi to me. And today he asked me, how are you? And I said, good, how are you? And he said, good, now that I've seen you today. <laughs> and I thought it was cute and it cheered me up even though, you know, I'm feeling a little bit down. It's just like, I really enjoy when people say hi to me. I'm a very anxious, shy person, so I usually will never say hi to anyone that I walk by, but I'll always say hi back to the people who say hi to me. So I always love it when people do say hi to me and that that made my day today. I thought it was super sweet. I had a really big weekend and I think that's why I am feeling so, so tired today. Especially yesterday, I was out and about all day long. So I think I'm just trying to recover from that. I started off early in the morning going on a walk with my mom and then we headed over to my mom's for breakfast with my family. And then after that, we went over to my dad's. He lives in the care facility and we hung out with him for around like two hours and we decorated his room. I always like to decorate it in like a holiday type of theme. So we did summertime. So there was a lot that just went on. And even yesterday, I was exhausted. I took a nap for two hours and I just haven't been able to like recuperate and I am just so tired. I wasn't struggling through the walk. I actually had a really good walk. It's just... Usually when I walk, it kind of turns on this light in my brain and I start feeling all these positive things and it didn't do that for me today. I'm still feeling like groggy, tired, just not good, feeling down, but that's okay. I think tonight, once I get some sleep again, I'll feel good. Some days I am super motivated, positive, perky, peppy like the happiest person on earth. And then it's like days like this where it's like, I am the complete opposite person and I don't even know who that other person is, but oh, I'm hoping that tomorrow will be a better day for me. So let's just hope that I can um get through what this, this feeling is. I know, I will feel better. I know I will. And I know this feeling isn't going to stay. It's just kind of hard when you you get into this kind of roadblock and mindset. 
To end on a more positive note, I wanted to try the golden berry or they're also known as gooseberries that I got from Trader Joe's. They kind of remind me of a little cherry tomato, but they are sticky. I've got the berries here and I am about to eat them. I thought to get the full effect of them, I would have two of them. So here I go. Woo! They honestly are like, just a really sour cherry tomato, but they are really good. Woo, they're sour though. If you're missing out on candy, specifically like a sour candy, I would recommend trying these because they are very sour, but they're sweet. So they remind me of like a sour candy. They're really yummy though. If you have something in mind that you would like me to try, just comment down below. I am on the hunt for a star fruit and fig. My brother works at Whole Foods. And so if any of those come available, I've asked him to please, please, please bring them home for me. If you can think of anything else that maybe I could get at a farmer's market, let me know. I am just on the hunt for anything fun and new and different to try. As always, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. I hope you have an amazing day. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!